Alrighty, congrats on making it this far. We're at episode five, and today we are going to be testing our controller. Specifically, we're going to be testing our edit, update, and destroy actions. The first thing we're going to have to do, though, is we're actually going to replace this uh, instance variable at post with our own custom object. So right now we're using a fixture. If you don't know what a fixture is, it is a it's basically an object that comes automatically with our um, our test suite. Rails makes it for us whenever we make um, a model. It comes with these custom fixtures. And uh, it's really just a YAML representation of a Rails active record object. But we're actually going to replace this. We're going to do, we're just going to create our own object, post.new. We'll give it a title, my post, and we'll have some content. Subscribe to the Corey's Corner Podcast. <clears throat> Actually, instead of doing new, we'll just do create. So when we do create, it saves it to the database. Whereas if we do new, we just create an object and it doesn't save it to the database. So we want to do create because we want to work with this in the database. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we can get our edit template. So we're going to do test gets edit do get edit post path. We pass it in our post and we're going to assert response success. So the basic excuse me, syntax of writing a test is we use the test keyword followed by the name of the test and then we put a block of what our test will actually be. And we use assert to assert that something happens unsurprisingly. So we'll do rails test test backslash sorry let me make this bigger for all you at home controllers backslash post underscore controller, underscore test, dot rb, press enter. So we have four runs, six assertions, and we have no failures. That's good. So I could just do Rails test, but that's also going to test our model too, and it's going to take a little longer. So we like to be more specific, and you just give it the, you just give test an argument of the file path that you want to test. Alrighty, now we want to make sure that our, we want to test our update action. So come over to our controller. We want to make sure that, where is update? We want to make sure that our update is happening correctly. So we can do test um, updates post do. So we can either do put or we can do patch. Both are um, HTT verbs for sending data to the server when we want to update a record. I'm just going to use patch. So we do post path, and we pass it in the post we want to update. Then we give it some params. And remember, we specified that our params inside of this controller require a post key. So we'll create the post key. And inside of that, that's going to take a hash with all of our attributes. And we're actually only going to update our title. And we're going to give it a title of a new post title. And then we want to assert that we get redirected back to our post path of the post we updated. And I will test that again. See that our tests are green. We have five runs, eight assertions, zero failures. And now lastly, we want to make sure that our post can be destroyed. So we'll have destroy post do. And now you use the delete HTTP, HTTP, HTTP verb, I'm sorry, post path, pass it in a post. And then we want to, oh, actually, that is not what we want to do. We want to do assert difference. We do post.count, and we 
give that an additional argument of minus one. So we want our post count to go down by one. And then we use the delete HTTP verb. We send that to the post path with the post we want to delete. And then after we do that, we want to assert, we get redirected to the post index path. I will test that one more time. Oh, and this actually failed. I did this on purpose. Um, let's just look at our failure. So you see we get F, we have failure, post controller destroy test. It'll, if we click on it, it'll give us the error or the where our line failed, so it failed the redirect. So we expected to be redirected to this, but we were redirected to root. But we look inside of our post controller we do see that our delete redirects to the root path, so we can actually get this test to path by changing this to the root path. We do that. We get boom, boom. So now we have six runs, 11 assertions inside of our controller, and we have all passing tests. So in the next video, I said before that I was going to do, um, I was gonna add comments to our post. Eventually, I'm actually going to do a login system, but in the next test, I want to go over integration tests. So those are for testing things like the layout. I want to make sure all the buttons are on the proper pages and whatnot. So we're going to, the next video, we'll go over integration tests. After the integration test, we are going to, then we're going to do either the comments or the login system. But um, this is going to be, we're going to be, build a really cool blog. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out all of my Ruby and Dart content. I will see you in the next video.